and we need nothing short of political revolution to make it happen. That revolution starts here today with you. So please take a moment. We're going to make sure you sign your cards. Everybody at home, OTW 2020 to 83224. 83224! 83224! I love it. One more time. Ready to do OTW 2022? 83224! Oh, I love this movement. <laughs> so, next up we have uh, Rocio Ochoa Eastman. Did I pronounce that correctly? Beautiful. Uh, she's going to talk about why we need to reform our nation's immigration system. Welcome, Rocio. So I actually also had other plans today, but Mariana asked me to come, and just like our other speaker said, you know, it's hard to say no. Um, so this is all last minute. Thank you. <laughs> So my grandfather came to the United States in the 60s with the Bracero program when the United States needed workers on the land. Um, shortly after, my grandmother and, and the rest of the kids left the, their ancestral lands to come and be with my grandfather. Later on in life, my father met a woman, my mother, <laughs> whom he fell in love, but she was a Mexican citizen. He was, uh, she was not allowed to enter the country legally, but yet she came. When I was four years old and she was going through the process to remain here legally, she was reprimanded and sent back to Mexico as a punishment. Since um, my father wouldn't have anybody to care for me, I was sent home, or I was sent to Mexico with her as well. Um, we were lucky. We had a safe place to go and I had a lot of people to watch over me. But not everybody is that lucky. I, ha I grew up listening to stories of immigration coming to the fields. I'm from Napa Valley. Um, the majority of the people that live there are either Mexican or white. Obviously, the majority of the people working in the fields were Mexican. Not everybody was there legally. Um, I've heard stories of how some people ran to the river to hide because they thought it would be a safe place and the river would take them and they would lose their lives. And that is nowhere, no way to live. Um, a report came out recently where during um, the time of both the Obama administration and now the Trump administration, from 2012 to 2017, a lot of Salvadorians were deported. During that time, about 138 people seeking refuge here in the United States were denied that right, and they were sent back home, and they were murdered, sometimes within days of arriving back. Um, and like I said, not everybody is as lucky as I have been. It is a disgrace that at this point in time in our nation, Border Patrol has a license to neglect and traumatize and cage children. It is a disgrace that ICE has the license to shoot and terrorize human beings. It is a disgrace that they take away parents from their children. Parents that are working hard to survive in a world where, the fate, where your fate is determined by the borders and the socioeconomic class that you are born into. As a veteran, I find it that it is a disgrace that veterans are being deported, that they are being denied the right um, that their recruiters promised them, a chance to become American citizens. I support Senator Bernie Sanders and our revolution and others running in our revolution because they understand that we need to reform our immigration system. I support Senator Sanders because he understands that we need a humane policy, a policy that will save lives. One of the things that I, I did borrow from his site and that I really and greatly appreciate from him and from all of those that support him and that believe in what he is doing. 
It is time that we live up to the ideals as a nation and welcome refugees and those seeking asylum, including those displaced by climate change. I hope you will join us in our revolution and make some drastic change that is desperately needed. Thank you. Thank you for such a powerful message here today. In Pacific County, our immediate neighbor to the south, 130 people have picked, oh, did you read this one already? No. No. <laughs> have been picked up by ICE in the last 27 months. That's 130 people have been picked up by ICE in the last 27 months. Abolish ICE. Yeah. I agree, 100%. Please. Uh, people who have uh, lived and worked in those communities for 20 years are being picked up because they are easy targets. They have jobs and a car registration and driver's license, so ICE can easily find them. The most recent pickups are of people on their way to work, carpooling in a van that was pulled over by State Patrol, then ICE. <laughs> 